Big scene unfolding at Belton High School earlier today. A student stabbing another student, leaving him critically wounded and in the hospital. 25 News reporter Christina Davis is live at the school. She's been tracking this all day. So, Christina, what's the latest? Todd and Naya, the most recent update from local officials is that the boy that was stabbed at Belton High School is still at a local hospital undergoing treatment for his conditions. Local authorities have not given me any updates on his condition. I did speak to one parent this morning. Listen in. I spoke with one of those parents concerned about the safety of her child. Oh, I feel so scary. Yeah, because when my son called me, that scared me when, say, somebody coming with the knife and, and started with somebody else. So. She is just one of many worried parents who spoke up after the incident while waiting for students to be released for pickup. Each of our campuses has a reunification plan so that when any variety of type of incidences happen on a campus, um, when it's safe, to start working on reunifying students with their parents. They um, just follow the plan and jump right into action. So right now parents um, are heading to Tiger Field where they'll be able to pick up their student and reunite with them. It's still an open and active investigation and as they try to put the pieces together, we'll bring you more. Reporting in Belton, Christina Davis, 25 News. And tonight, Christ the King Church in Belton is holding a vigil for those involved. There will be a 6.30 mass followed by a rosary. Officials confirming tonight that Kaysen Tyler Allison is the student in custody tonight, accused of stabbing his classmate. Allison is an 18-year-old senior and is currently booked in the Bell County Jail.